Well, the Hendersonville man tried to get answers about the government shutdown today, and he did not like the responses from our elected leaders. News 13's Rex Hodge is live at Congressman Mark Meadows' office in Hendersonville. And Rex, what does he want to tell them? Simple, get back to work. Buddy says he gets recordings saying offices are closed or no responses when he does get through. He's worried for the country and about services he requires to stay healthy. Greg Caps has been blind since birth. He's worried about the government shutdown and called our lawmakers to tell them. I feel like if this continues to go on, all of the gains that economy has made will be lost. He's also concerned with so many federal workers furloughed, it leaves our country vulnerable to those who would hurt us. And that scares me. Cap says he's called Senators Richard Burr and Kay Hagan, but wasn't satisfied with their recordings. The federal government is currently shut down, resulting in the closure of Senator Hagan's offices in North Carolina and Washington, D.C. Senator Burr's Washington office is open, but performing essential legislative operations only with very minimal staff. He called Representative Patrick McHenry. And there was no feedback, there was no nothing. He just said, thank you, and hung up. I called and got McHenry's media spokesman. He told me all thoughts are shared with the congressman. Contact information is requested from the caller, and someone responds to the inquiry. Cap says he talked with someone with Congressman Meadows' office. He expressed concerns about his social worker who helps the blind. Cap says since she received some federal dollars, she's being furloughed up to a month, and he's worried about that, too. Mark Meadows staff person actually told me that what I was saying was a lie. <clears throat> I contacted Congressman Meadows' office in Washington and they tell me that the congressman called Greg Capps this afternoon and reassured him that uh, he is looking into his concerns and that uh, he also contacted Governor Pat McCrory and that no such social workers are being laid off. Reporting live tonight from Henderson County, Rex Hodge, News 13.